Today is Monday, May 3rd, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 70 degrees and cloudy in Syracuse. I'm Louise Rath. Here's what you need to know. New today, Syracuse University is continuing on with a decades-old tradition remembering the victims of the bombing of Flight Pan Am 103. The 2021-2022 Remembrance Scholars were announced on all of SU's social media today. These 35 students represent the Syracuse University students killed in 1988 over Lockerbie, Scotland. These students are selected through a competitive process, including an essay and interview with selection committee. Three Syracuse football players are joining NFL teams. Two players, Andre Sisko and Ife Tu Melifanwu, were picked up in the third round of the NFL draft last week. Sisko posted on Instagram earlier today that he had finally arrived in Jacksonville. Defensive back Trill Williams is undrafted, but will sign as a free agent. President Joe Biden continues to enact change as he reached his 100th day in office last week. While Biden has made good on some of his campaign promises, he continues to work on others. The president still has not accomplished some of his goals, including ending family separation at the border. Biden continues to reassure Americans that a better future is ahead. Now, after just 100 days, I can report to the nation, America is on the move again. And coming up on Talking Points, the COVID-19 outbreak in India continues to worsen as the country accounts for one in three new cases. Talking Points analyst Mariah Humiston will discuss what's being done to stop further spread of the virus. That's all the time we have on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Citrus TV News. And check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Louise Rath. Have a great night, Syracuse.